They are winners and losers. Um, we've been observing digital transformation for quite a while now. I'm personally working in digital transformation since 15 years now. And uh, for a couple of years now, we even do an annual study. We do this in the, in the course of our Digital Transformer of the Year initiative, where we award the best digital transformer in a couple of different industries every year. And in order to generate the nominees, we do an, a survey, a large online survey. And part of this online survey is also the question, how, does, how do the differences in digital transformation, in the success with digital transformation within your industry evolve? So about the heterogeneity of digital transformation in the industry. And the really interesting thing that I saw this year was that in all industries, the heterogeneity decreased. So the companies became more similar, except for media. In media, it totally decreased, it, opened, uh, it increased, the heterogeneity increased. So we have a very strong polarization. So we're talking about the one industry that has been touched by digital transformation first, because media was attacked first, already 20 years ago. And so in this industry, we have clear winners and losers. So you have companies who got it and you have companies who will never get it. Oftentimes when um, I, I try to talk someone into a digital transformation project, they tell me, or not oftentimes, but still too often, there, they tell me, oh no, we're fine with digital transformation because our IT department is already taking care of it. I'm like, no. Then they say, yeah, but then we also have this, this guy who's doing development and I think he has a keen eye on this. And I say, no, that's not it either. So digital transformation, in fact, is a totally holistic thing in order to turn around the entire company. It's about business models, it's about products, it's about methods, it's about know-how, it's about mindset, and also it's about technology. In every industry, we see that there are new market entrants and they are just playing by different rules. They talk to the customers in a different way, they partner or not partner, they define the boundaries of competition differently, they behave differently on the market. And that's why we need, or established companies need to understand those rules and learn how to play by the same rules because the new market entrants are very successful. We're looking at what IoT was in the beginning. It was the ability of things to communicate independently of human interference. So that's already something that a lot of people first need to get to wrap their head around. Yeah? But then if you look further and we are talking we were talking about new business models, new ecosystems with Internet of Things, and things can build up their own ecosystem. Mm -hmm.